Hello Flash fans, welcome back to my channel. Max Adler's Yako Birch will face the Scarlet Speedster once more as Season 8 of The Flash is preparing for a glee reunion between Grant Gustin, the prototypical speedster and Max Adler who plays meta-villain the hotness Yako Birch the hotness was first featured in Season 4 of The Flash, will now be played by Max Adler again. Birch possesses the meta power of pyrokinetics, which allows him to manipulate and produce fire with his thoughts. Like many other characters in the program, he was given this magical power by chance. Eric Fry used Birch as a hostage during a bank heist in Central City, which resulted in Fry's pyrokinetic skills being passed on to Birch, establishing his new career as a supervillain. After the cosmos was obliterated by the Anti-Monitor's Anti-Matter Wave, Yako Birch and all the citizens of Earth-1 were wiped from existence. Yako Birch was resurrected on the newly created Earth Prime when the Spectre and the Paragons reset the multiverse. Yako Birch was still the supervillain hotness in the new reality, although he gained his powers by unknown means, since Eric Fry was still shown to be a metahuman. Gustin and Adler both starred in Fox's smash hit Glee, which won a Golden Globe for Best Television Series and was nominated for a Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Ensemble in a Comedy Series. Gustin featured in seasons 3 through 5 of Glee as Sebastian Smythe, overlapping with Adler's breakout role as Dave Karofsky, who lasted the whole length of the long-running television series. Adler's on-screen credentials include roles in three seasons of the Peabody Award-winning series Switched at Birth, as well as guest appearances on shows including The Big Bang Theory, The Rookie, Mom, 911, and Shameless, to name a few. Adler has also made a name for himself in the film industry, starring in Woody Allen's Café Society, Clint Eastwood's Sully, and Aaron Sorkin's The Trial of the Chicago 7, for which he also worked as co-executive producer. The two are now on a mission to rekindle their friendship as castmates and rivals, putting Hero against Evil in their impending showdown. Perhaps Glee fans can look forward to another musical episode like Duet from Season 3, which would be appropriate given Gustin and Adler's shared background. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. See you soon.